Hey guys, it's Mrs. Chefcheck, and today we are going to be working on proportional relationships. We'll be using models and ratio reasoning to understand how a proportional relationship can exist between quantities. Be sure to take notes as you watch and try the examples with the video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's say we were making a pizza dough recipe, and the ratio of cups of flour to the cups of water is 3 to 1. All right. If we wanted to double the batch or triple the batch, will we still have that same ratio? Well, we'll have to, otherwise our dough will taste different, won't it? So if I was going to double my recipe, then instead of three cups of flour, I would end up with two times as many, which would be six cups of flour. And of course, I'd have to do the same thing with my water. I would have to double that as well. And so I'd still have a ratio of six to two. I'm going to write it like this or 3 to 1 if I were to divide uh, 2 out of each of those. So it's still maintaining that 3 to 1 ratio of our original recipe. The same thing would happen if we wanted to make 3 batches. And that's because this is a proportional relationship. We know if two quantities are in a proportional relationship because the ratios between them are going to be the same, just like in the pizza dough. This ratio is called, this is a, an important word here, the constant of proportionality, which we sometimes also just refer to as our unit rate. If, however, our ratios are different, then it's not going to be a proportional relationship. Let's see what this looks like. All right, let's try this first example on our note page. It says, the recipe for a homemade glass cleaner indicates to use a ratio of one part vinegar to four parts water. Elise used 3 tablespoons vinegar and 12 tablespoons of water to make her cleaner. And we're looking to find out, is the relationship between the vinegar and the water in the recipe and the vinegar and the water in Elise's cleaning solution a proportional relationship? And then we're asked to explain. So let's just set this up by what we know at the beginning. We know in the original recipe, one part vinegar to four parts water. Now I like to label that off to the side. Uh, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna do vinegar on top and water on bottom. Uh, that's just gonna help me keep track of things, okay? Uh, so one part vinegar to four parts water. And then in Elise's, she used three tablespoons of vinegar. And since I have vinegar on top, I'm gonna make sure to put that on top over here and she used 12 tablespoons of water. So now we're looking to see, are these two ratios equivalent? If they are, it's gonna be a proportional relationship. All right, so uh, my first fraction is one to four. That can't be simplified, so that's just gonna stay one to four. My second ratio is three twelfths, and I can divide out a common factor of three, and I'm gonna get a simplified fraction of one fourth. And so in both of these cases, I get a simplified ratio of 1 fourth or 1 to 4. And so we can say, yes, this is a proportional relationship because we have equivalent ratios of 1 to 4. Uh, you could have also divided these out right away into decimal equivalents. So 1 fourth, remember, is the same as 1 divided by 4. And you'd get 0.25. And if I did 3 divided by 12... I'd also get 0 0.25, and again, even with the decimal equivalents, we're going to get that same number. So we can say, yes, this is a proportional relationship. Let's try this second example on your note page. It tells us a five-mile taxi ride in one city costs Ayana $25, and a four-mile taxi ride in a different city costs $18. Assume the cost in each city is the same amount per mile is the relationship between the number of miles and the total cost between the two cities a proportional relationship? And then we're asked to explain our answer. All right, well, let's see. What are the two quantities we're looking at in this one? I see that we've got um, miles traveled and the total cost. And so I'm thinking, like, what do I want to be able to figure out, uh, like, in my unit right here or in my answer? I'm going to want to go my cost per mile. That seems like a good way to kind of set this ratio up. So I'm gonna go cost over miles. I could have done miles over cost too, but just because of the numbers I'm dealing with, I decided I wanna put my money on top. All right, so in city number one, we've got $25 for her to travel five miles. So 25 over five is my first, first ratio. In my second city, cost her $18 
to go four miles. And so 18 over four is my second ratio. And now I need to simplify each of these to see if they are equivalent. And so in this first one, I have 25 divided by five, and I can see each of these have a common factor of five. And so this first one simplifies to five over one, or we can just say five, right? And then our second one, I can simplify by dividing two out of our top and bottom, and this one ends up giving us nine over two, which is equal to 4.5. Because these two numbers are not the same, this is not a proportional relationship. And when you think about what that means in terms of this problem, it's saying in the first city, it basically cost $5 per mile to ride. And in the second city, this is like $4.50 per mile. So again, it's not the same in each city, so this is not a proportional relationship. All right, now it's time for you to try on your own. For each of the two problems below, I want you to determine if each situation represents a proportional relationship. Explain your reasoning. Push pause, read them over, try each problem, and then push play to see how you did. All right, are you ready? All right, Anna throws her football 44 yards in two seconds, and Nolan is 84 yards in three seconds, so I set up two ratios. I decided to do yards over seconds. Here's Anna's, here's Nolan's. When I divide those out, I see that 44 divided by two is 22. And if I do 84 divided by three, I get an answer of 28. Since those two numbers are not equal, this is not a proportional relationship because the ratios are not equal. Give yourself a star if you got that one right. Let's try the next one. To get baby blue paint, Kendrick needs to mix five parts blue paint with two parts white paint. Kendrick mixes 20 cups of blue with eight cups of white. Does this represent a proportional relationship? Since both of these divide out to equal 2.5, that means our ratios are equal, and yes, it represents a proportional relationship. Give yourself a star if you got this one right as well. This video went over how you can use models and ratio reasoning to understand how proportional relationships exist between quantities. If you have any questions, please be sure to check in with your teacher. Thanks for watching.